What's up, everybody? It's KR086, and I, uh, as you can see, I'm actually wearing my vest at my <laughs> at my desk for once because I do like wearing vests, especially out in public and all that stuff. But um, I just got home from door dashing, and I saw yet another great video from a relatively new YouTuber known as Fei Fi. She's a Chinese YouTuber, self-learned English. So whenever you actually watch her videos, she makes sure that she has a caption, but you know, some of her words are a little bit off, um, but she still has a very great intellectual mind. And I just love how she, uh, talks about some of the subjects she's talked about. I, I definitely need to check out more of her videos. She has about 20 videos, but I've only seen two of them so far. However, the one I saw today, uh, most importantly, is uh, this recent one uh, no, uh, titled, After Sweet Baby from Wukong to Concord, How Diversity is Killing Diversity. And it's a very good watch. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short as possible, but in the video, she makes, she pretty much uh, says it in the best way possible about how it seems like uh, people these days, uh, at least like a lot of different companies, gaming companies and movie companies have uh, kind of turned this whole push to like diversity or DEI or um, political correctness um, into the forefront, but not but uh, leaving out the story. I mean, she says it much better than I can say it because I've been trying to figure out ways to say this uh, for a good long period of time because I've noticed this that like a lot of different uh, movies, a lot of different uh, TV shows, and a lot of different video games. Well, I remember in the past they had a lot of diversity in them and they, but they were built off of great storytelling and great, uh, ways of, um, uh, really giving that human emotion to it. Uh, they're now more so like nowadays it's more of a, Hey, let's put the diversity up front and we'll take care of the story. Like as a, the, the story and all that stuff has to like kind of go along with the diversity. And that's something that you, that's something that you shouldn't do. Like, uh, in all honesty, but like I said, I really think you should check out her channel more so than anything. Uh, especially this particular video because, Oh, good Lord. She, she explains it in such a great way that I wish I could explain it. And even though she has some broken English because of the fact that she is a uh, self-taught <laughs> English speaker, uh, uh, learning English and, you know, she is from China. She does put it in such an eloquent way that like eloquent and intelligent way that I feel like if more uh, of these gaming companies, more of these movie companies, especially Disney, uh, were to check out her video and see what she she's trying to portray, what she's trying to actually say, and actually pay attention to it instead of just uh, taking in one ear and letting it go out, like literally, really think about it. They could have. The, the the big productions that they want to have the big successes that they used to have back in the day because I don't know how to explain it like it, it's the way she just came across was so uh so much better than I could even hope to bring it up but it's exactly how I felt okay uh because look. I love diversity in video games. I'm going to say that again. I love diversity in video games. I love diversity in movies and TV shows and all that stuff. But the most important thing of these uh, movies or video games or TV shows, the most important thing is the story. The story is the thing that like 
has to come first. And the, the story actually gives you that human emotion, that 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 really well thought out thing uh, that can help things, that 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 can really get you invested. And also still have a little bit of diversity in it. Oh, good Lord. It could be the best damn thing in the world. Honestly, like diversity, diversity is important. I'm never going to say that it isn't. However, diver diversity, when it comes to the story, the storytelling has to come maybe second, especially when it comes to movies or TV shows. It has to come second to the story, the actual story. Okay, you have to give me write something that's going to actually get me invested in your characters, write good characters, um, and all that jazz. And when it comes to games, <laughs> diversity has to come third, sometimes even fourth, um, because of the fact that you got to have that story and you have to have gameplay that's really engaging and all that stuff. Nobody's nobody who has been bringing up uh, the issues. Nobody who has been bringing up the issues of DEI in video games or movies or TV shows has. They don't necessarily have any issues with diversity being in these shows in and movies in these video games, but when it comes to the point where it's like. You're put into the forefront. It comes one. It comes across as fake. Two. It ruins actual legitimate diversity. Oh, like um. In the in the in the video, she was talking about the movie Moonlight. Now I haven't checked out this movie yet, but um, uh, it's about a black gay man. Um, and well, I I. I <laughs> She explains it a lot better than me because she's actually seen the movie. Um, but I've never seen this movie and I do want to check it out, especially after she's, you know, brought this up as uh, a point in her uh, video. But um, I've never seen this movie, but she was saying how like when she saw this movie, she she loved the movie. Uh, she didn't think about his race or his sexual orientation, she saw the actual main theme of the whole thing. It was about love. It was about uh, a few other things. And while she enjoyed it and she was happy that it won an Oscar, because uh, it was her first time actually w watching the Oscars, other people around her were saying that it was, <clears throat> they were like, oh yeah, the only reason why I got an Oscar is because they were trying to be PC or something like that. And she was kind of frustrated. She felt frustrated about that because of the fact that, well, she knew it was a good movie, but they have never seen that movie. And they just assumed that that was it. And we did put, you know, I believe around the time the movie came out, the movie came out in 2016. And around that time, more people were talking about uh, political correctness. And this was around the time that, uh, being woke was a uh, was becoming a thing if i remember correctly uh but as i'm looking at this yeah so uh moonlight it was an american coming of age film uh stars Trevante rose andre holland janelle monet ashton sanders uh jerrell jerome naomi harris and marshala ali oh naomi harris is in it i'm definitely gonna check it out to say but the film uh, presents three stages in the life of the main character, his childhood, adolescence, and early adult life. It explores the difficulty he faces with his sexuality and identity, including the physical and emotional abuse he endures growing up. And it's split into like uh, three acts, it seems like. I definitely need to check this out, okay? I definitely need to check this movie out. But... Um, when you have a movie that has a good story, um, and like I was trying to make a vi uh, video earlier this morning about how I like watching, uh, those movie recaps and it kind of convinces me to go see a movie sometimes, or sometimes a good movie is, um, 
And I would also say that uh, a good movie is um, can actually get a lot more people watching it and realizing how good it is by it being a good movie, having a good story, and word of mouth. Because, like I said, I didn't know this movie even came out. It came out uh, October 21st, 2016. And it had a budget of one point five million, and it made six hundred and fifty uh, sixty five. I'm sorry, sixty five point two million. So it it was a successful movie. Um, but I'm guessing it really did like have great uh good written characters, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check this out this movie out. Um, at some point, but I will say that Faye Fee, and I'm hoping I'm saying her name right, she uh she really did bring this up. Like superficial diversity is killing true diversity, and I agree wholeheartedly with her. Um, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna keep ranting. I just wanna I want you to check out her uh video. It's a pretty good video. Um. Uh, and um uh, yeah that's pretty much it for me so you guys have a great day have a great week month year you know the usual stuff okay and i'll see you guys next time